Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here and today I'm going to show you how to clean your baby triops enclosure. So as you can see there's my baby triops there and it's about nine of them I think. There's twelve in total in the whole aquarium and now they've actually grown to a decent size so you can see them. And this is only two days after I made the last video so the size difference is huge. They grow so quickly it's just amazing. It's one of the reasons that I like to keep them because they're just so cool with the size that they grow to in such a quick time span. And as you can see there's some old leftover food at the bottom there so I'm gonna show you how to clean that up. It's essentially one of the most easiest things you can do. All you need is uh, either a piece of airline tubing or a little um, pipette. I think that's what they're called, pipettes. So, a piece of airline tubing you can buy at the pet store and most of the triops kits though will just come with one of these pipettes so just use that because it makes the whole thing a lot easier and makes it easier not to suck up any triops. So, this is what the pipette looks like and all you're gonna have to do is depress it here and then suck up some of the old food. Being careful not to suck up any triops and then when you have the old food in there just place it into a container and repeat this process until you've removed all of the leftover food and poop. Once you've cleaned your whole aquarium all you gotta do is add some prepared water now, what I like to do is not add distilled water anymore as soon as the triops have hatched. The reason you use distilled water in the first place is because the triops eggs will only hatch if the water is very, very pure, and distilled water is the purest form of water there is. So that's why I use distilled water. As soon as they hatch, however, um, I use tap water to fill up the container, and I obviously use dechlorinated tap water. So. I treat the tap water with dechlorinator and then use that. The reason for that is that there's no minerals in distilled water and the triops need minerals to properly form their shells or exoskeleton I guess or whatever it's called. So that's why I like to use tap water. So all you need to do is prepare that tap water in a separate container like so and then just slowly pour it in and try to not disturb the triops too much. And there you go. Now you've got a clean triops aquarium. Now you just gotta feed them again and wait until the next day to clean the aquarium or with this many triops I think I'm just gonna clean them again tonight to make sure as many as possible survive. So, thank you guys for watching. This was, as always, a fun video to make and I really enjoy making these videos for you. You might be saying there's a lot of triops and shrimp videos lately and nothing on your tortoise and snake. You just got back to Canada, why don't you make a video on them? And honestly it's because it's just more urgent to make videos on these guys right now and because they will be done with their life in 30 days, you know? So it's a little bit more time urgent. Patilla is gonna be here for another 80 years probably so there will be lots of time to make videos on her and also it is not Friday yet so these triops videos are just uploaded in the middle of the week because I have some spare time to upload them the Friday videos will not be triops videos I promise you that so on Friday it's gonna be a video probably on Patilla or Shinigami something with to do with tortoises or snakes so you can look forward to that until then you're just gonna have to deal with these triops videos and if you do not like them, just don't watch them and come back to my channel every Friday. So with that, thank you guys for watching. The like would be greatly appreciated as always. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys next time.